Going into the Columbia game, uh, we felt they, despite their record, were a very tough athletic team, and uh, that proved to be the case. Uh, we had a 14-14 game at half. We hadn't had one of those type of games in a long time. Uh, we did manage to get our seventh straight win, uh, but it wasn't easy. Uh, we made a lot of mistakes in the first half offensively, really played sloppy football. Uh, to our kids' credit, came out after halftime, really responded, played with poise, executed extremely well, and scored three touchdowns in about eight <coughs> minutes uh, to go up 35 to 14. Uh, we did allow a touchdown late in the game, but overall really happy with the way our kids responded. Offensively, Collie Wentz just had another good game. He was 20 for 30, 323 yards and three touchdowns. Uh, seems to be a different receiver every week who steps up and at least uh, dominates the statistics. This week it was Kyle Yuschuk. Uh, Kyle is our H-back. Uh, he's one of the most versatile smart, talented football players that I've ever been around. I think he's a legitimate pro prospect. He's 6'3", he's 242 pounds. Um, he had seven catches for 114 yards and two touchdowns. He will play in the backfield. He'll play at tight end, he'll play in the slot, he'll play at wide receiver, he's constantly in motion. He's one of those kids that has a great football IQ, adapts to anything. Uh, I happen to coach the tight ends, but people try to give me credit. I said, this kid was one of those kids showed up just a natural. He's a high school um, Wildcat quarterback. And you should have seen him at 230 pounds people trying to tackle him. He's a, he's a Wildcat quarterback. He's an awesome kid uh, from Eastern Ohio, and uh, he's, he has helped us a lot of different ways this year. As we go into the Penn game, you know, one thing that crosses my mind from, from our time here at Harvard is uh, the road to the Ivy title always goes through the University of Pennsylvania. I say that in terms of them being one of the really consistently strong programs in our league and where they fall on our schedule. We always are our second to last game. So once again, um, you know, Harvard and Penn meet with the IV title implications. I think that probably has been the case for the last 11 straight years that this game has had uh, IV title implications. Uh, they're an outstanding football team. They uh, have one of the really exciting athletes at quarterback in Billy Ragone. He's 6'2", uh, 6'3", six six about 225 pounds. He's Four or five guy um, could play running back anywhere, but he happens to be a quarterback, throws the heck out of the ball. And every year they have one of the top two defenses in our league. So it'll be a great challenge. We're looking forward to it. It's a noon game on national TV on Versus TV. And uh, obviously we're excited about getting going. Uh, congratulations to, to Nick Schweiger, especially. <coughs> Nick's a local kid, um, tremendous football player, tremendous kid, really one of the great players in our league. And also to Eric Bunker and Trinity on your gold helmet performance. Good luck to everyone.